Hey what's up guys, I'm going to see Slime right here and welcome back to another episode of LEGO Indiana Jones, the original adventures. Now in this episode I'm going to be finish on, finishing off the story levels of Temple of the Doom, which will be doing the last two episodes in story mode. And then it'll be on to the last crusade, story mode. And then I'll be going back to Raiders, doing all the levels again in free play mode. Same thing with Temple, and then all the same thing with Last Crusade, plus three secret levels, which are located on these maps, but you can't access them from going on these pads. But anyway, let's get on to Escape the Mines. This is a quite a unique level because you're pretty much doing a lot, one thing for a lot, for most of the level, mainly for the starters. You'll be riding in minecarts. Get rid of these guys. I'll make sure I get a sword. And last guy. Alright, so now no more, no more guys will spawn. So I can actually bring short round here. Oh, we can't access that, but we can, I think. Okay, I just heard some kind of death sound effect. Ooh, nearly missed it. Um, you good there, Willy? No, I, I don't know what's going wrong with the game, it's lagging a little bit. Let's get Indy up here, and we'll pull down that ladder down at the corner. Go across with the whip. And I fell down. Again. Um, I can't get there from that side. Might as well just bring this piece over. Okay, it can just phase through people, apparently. But yeah, let's head back over here. We unfortunately fell down off the panel. Bring him up again. on automatically. Alright, this time I'm not going to fall off. I don't want to fall off. Pull this. Alright, so now that left that is down so we can get up there whenever we want to. We do need to go up there in order to progress. Let's collect these studs first actually. Make sure we get them. What we gotta do is build up a minecart here. That. I think, yeah, there's a mini kit up here. I think we have to use Willy to get this. Since she can jump the highest. Alright, there's one out of ten, so that's one less to get in free play mode. Get some more studs. Um, what extras have I got unlocked? Surely I'd have some, right? Turn on secret characters that'll unlock certain characters. I think mainly it unlocks Han Solo, which can be unlocked in a certain way. Alright, so the next thing I need to get Willy to do build the track, collect the studs. Studs are important. We need to throw this at that. Then we can fill that. And also, it is the minecart or that post there to get up and jump on that platform and get those studs. So now we need a screwdriver, which is just down the corner. There's another mini kit. There we go, there's two out of ten. There we go. Right, so let's get Willy to pick up the, the wrench. And we shall fix up this minecart so we can push it along. I think there's an area just down at the bottom right. Pretty sure. Let me see. Yep, and there's a third one. So we only need to collect seven. Potentially a few more. There's a lot we can collect when we're actually riding the minecarts. And he's walking. It is possible to make the character walk yourself. You 
if you're using like a controller, just push it, push the joystick forward slightly. If you push it forward all the way, you'll be running, which is what you mostly end up doing. Alright, pushing that onto there. Alright, so now we're going to go back up here and stand on the platform. There we go, there's two on, and three, and that locks it in place, that bar. So now we head up here, and we can start the actual minecart riding segment. Collect these studs before we do so though, because as soon as this is pushing into place, the next cutscene is going to play. Here we are. So first I'm going to look out for mini kits, and if you get rid of mine cards, certain mine cards, certain objectives will earn you mini kits. So I won't focus on the platforms just yet. There's two in one. So there's only three. Missing any others? The one here, I think. Let's see. Um, there's more on those hanging things. <sighs> I missed it. Those and these things won't stay on forever. No one even leaning to any side. There we go, there's another one. Right, first stage done. Alright, look out for me kids. Won't focus on that yet. way to switch over. Oh, there's one of them. There's another. Missed it. Dang it. Go over this side. that one. There was a mini kit I forgot to collect. Where is that one? And I missed it again. Sounds odd with no music. Alright. I'm not gonna lean to any side. Let him collect it. There we go. And I missed that last one. I may have to activate the things again. Let's keep hitting these targets. There we are. Now I'm back to the exit. Should be just here, over here. There's another purple stud. Hey, there we go. So we got another one of those constant running segments like the boulder part. I think there's a mini kit in the end. So if you want to get it, can't fail. Oh, that's the start at the next level. Wait, 
9 out of 10 already? Why didn't I? I wasn't losing, I wasn't counting. So it seems like Escape the Mines is a pretty easy level to get most mini kits in story mode. You may not know that the minecart chase in Temple of Doom was actually an early draft from Raiders, or at least the set was Raiders originally. So there's a nut, there's a mini kit over there. We can't obviously get that. Yeah, so we have another big running segment. We got to run. I've never completed this segment, so it'll be good to get this completed. There we go. I got the hard one. Technically, and there's another one. I can only get that out of the way. Alright. <laughs> there's another mini kit right down there. Um, we'll wait before we go down there because there may be a way that I won't be able to get back up, but surely there would be. Collect these. We might be able to get True Adventure. I personally really like this level because the mainly because of the like the set pieces that are in this the location and everything. Alright, so we've done all that indie we can do on his side. So now we gotta do some stuff for short round and really Alright, let's head up here. Willie should be following any minute now. Here she comes. Alright, let's head in here. Can't get that mini kit there. We need to dig it up, which we need a shovel, which we don't have. And then we can build this bridge across so anything can get across. Here he comes. Alright, so now we need to stand on here. Do that. Watch out. Alright, let's build up a little handlebar thing. Missed that blue stud. That's unfortunate. Levitated myself up off the ground for some reason. It's weird. Alright, collect these studs before we advance on to the next area. Alright, let's go. There will be constant enemies spawning in this kind of segment. Not, but not in this specific area. They're in like the next, just a few meters over in the next, in the further towards the right, basically. You can go back here once they start spawning, and they will spawn over here. Walking up to these, they just simply get destroyed. Some of them, you can see, have spikes in them. But one of them has a mini kit in them. Ah, oh, dang it! And you gotta be careful not to get caught in an endless death, an endless death loop. There's a mini kit one. We need to get rid of these guys wearing the white outfits because we need to get their hats. So I'll pick up their hat first. Get Willy a sword. I see another mini kit, by the way. So we can get that. Actually, what I'll do, I'll be indie so we can be sure he doesn't lose his new, newly acquired hat. Punch these bushes, get the studs, so then we can buy stuff. All three characters will need one of these hats. So we'll get one for Willy. Um, looks like it despawned for some reason. Alright, so now we need to wait for another lot of guys to spawn in. But I can do my one. Here they come. You can hear them getting attacked down below. Can 
see the other characters coming up. Let's let short round pick this one up. He has black hair. It's not too often that you see short round's hair. The only times you do is when he's picking up a new hat. He's loving his new hat. Have short round pick up the shovel. Since Indy and Willie have both got a sword. Another one of these things. Like these stars and head through. Good thing no one else can head through. But if we were in free play, the other person would just change into a short character automatically. You get it? <laughs> you see the sword slashing. Let's just drop that down. Willie's turn for the final one. Alright, let's place shorties in. Um Okay, they're not attacking. Gotta be careful. Sometimes certain actions will make them attack. So if we can get these guys to stay calm and passive, that'll be good. Perfect. Sometimes changing characters will trigger them to become aggressive. Um, right, see you guys. Idiots. Let's head through. And we got our regular hairdo back. This is one of my favourite parts of this level. All these rock pillars. And I just died. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Endless death loop. Sometimes you get spawned right on the edge. And you just keep falling down. But it's another mini game. And let's hop across here. And hop back across here. We need to whip that. And then we can jump across there, get these studs, and now we got more parkour. Still got the bridge. Um, okay. So, I'm not sure if we actually need a weapon in order to destroy those things. Shorty has got a, um, a shovel. I'm not sure if it, it'll count though. I guess we'll find out. Does the shovel count? Surely it would. I'm sure it would. There we go, it does. Shorty goes back through automatically. Now there's a secret area over here, running over the ground will pop, make flowers pop up. You gotta time it right to get a bonus. Very time consuming. I thought I had it. Oh my god, this is so annoying, this part. Hey, we got True Adventure. That's good. There we go. 
this is that's like one of the most annoying parts in this level though. Ooh, purple stud. There we go. This part down here is kind of optional. It's mainly you can mainly only do it in um free play. So we won't focus on that now. We'll get back to it when we do the free play level of this version. Let's head through a shorty. Have another drink. Okay, um, I'm just standing there. Now, change over to Willy. And then Indy stands on here. And this leads to the bridge. Come on, Willy, don't be a wimp. It's much different than the movie version. They might, they might um update it in the next Lego indie game if they do end up making it up, which I hope they do. And Indy died for some reason. So we gotta. So you see those like things up there, they've, they've got the kind of protection barrier thing on them. Um, when they're gone, that's when you can attack and destroy them, which is the way we cut down the bridge. There we go. There we go, there's one. So we gotta get some more swords. There's one there's one. Um okay, for some reason we lost a sword. Please spawn more of the regular guys. Alright, let's get them let's get another sword. Um okay, we lost the sword for some reason. We've got to time it right. There's another one. I think we only have one more. Yeah, we only got one more to do. That's good. Um, I need one more sword. Okay, apparently we didn't destroy that one. We need two more swords now. There we go. The mole around wasn't supposed to spawn. Alright, let's get another sword. And I just lost it. There we go. So now we just gotta get rid of Malaram. Okay, apparently not. Because he still had one heart left. <laughs> he still has his hat on. <laughs> Alright, this next cutscene is gonna potentially get copyrighted. Templar Doom complete, at least the story mode. We got True Adventure on that, which is amazing. How many minikits did we get? I think we just got a few. Five, six, six out of ten. I, I already tell us Molaram's headdress. Finish the story. And this next cutscene, the cutscenes I can't skip. Every cutscene still has music in it, which is painful mm. for. Copyright reasons. 
in his outfit is different from in the movie. He has his leather jacket on. Shining. <laughs> Just like in the movie. Is Templar Doom done? Let's see what extras we can unlock. We haven't delivered any parcels yet, though. Those certain ones can be accessible in um, free play mode. So let's be indie. We can unlock some more characters, though. I think we've just been doing stuff in order, so we'll just go in order. Actually, that's probably not a good idea because we may need a certain character. So let's just have a look. Let's see if we can unlock any more from Temple of Doom. Um, village. Let's get a guy with one of the headdresses. I know this person will work on it. Assassin, Pankot Guard, Chatalal. Yeah, that guy works as well. Thuggy, Slave Driver. I could get him. I could get Molaram, actually. Uh, yeah, let's get Molaram. We got dude, Mr. Molaram. I saw another version of Indy. Where is he? I saw another version of Indy. The leather jacket version. There's Toad. I saw Indy. He was at the door. Maybe he's in here. Let's have a look. There he is. I knew I saw him. Now I want to be both Indies. I want to be both Indies. There we go. We're both versions of Indy. Yay! Can we unlock any more? Maybe a cheap one. Let's go back to Raiders. Uh, 18, yeah, we can unlock him. We can get him. Uh, we can't get Belloc. We can get the Bandit. Katanga. Might as well get Katanga. I think he has a wrench. Let's do a... Let's do a free play level. Alright, so I guess we'll do free play of the Lost Ark. I mean, the Lost Temple. So, we've got a version of Indy already. Actually, I want to make sure Indy is the second, like the Kali version of Indy is the other one. And that way we'll select a different character. So, that green ring is the second player. Um, I could be Tuxedo Indy if I wanted to. But I want to make sure I select. I'm not sure if Molaram works with the like the statues. So I'll be the Maharaja. That's two characters in one. She's a it's a short person who can fit through hatches, and she can activate the statues. So I think the main focus of this one. Did I get true adventure? I don't think I did. All right. So let's have a look. And we just need to focus on getting all the mini kits. Ones I've already collected won't show up. So we can speed through this level pretty fast. And. We can, yep, he'll automatically change, so this part isn't even necessary. So I need a guy with a shovel. It's Satipo. Apparently, you dig up things faster by spamming the dig button and not by holding it down. Let's jump across. Um, actually, I don't need to do them, actually. So I think I unlocked one of them already. But there is a few locations where I haven't unlocked the mini kit. I should have had a look before starting the level. Now we can just put this one in. Alright. Sartipo again. Actually, what I'll do, I'll change to a bazooka guy. And I just killed myself. But I did kill the crocodile, which is my goal. And I killed the other crocodile, which is good. Might as well. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, there we go, that's the character I need. And you can automatically get on. Let's see, there are certain ones that I haven't 
there are certain mini kits I haven't unlocked yet. Let's be the bazooka guy so we can just blast them. 